I just saw something on social media that said, uh, thanks to Polly, uh, Slow's going to shut down St. Patty to, St. Patty's Day in yes. 2025. Absolutely. And this is, listen, <laughs> when you have this mentality when you go to college in another place, like, I don't care what happens after I'm there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Screw it. Nobody's here. There's no accountability. Mom and dad aren't here. Nobody knows me here except I mean, for a couple of my dumb friends. If there's ever a they, YOLO time in everybody's life, it's when they go to college. It's like, oh, I'm not going to live in this town forever. Well, you know, they had the officers in here on Friday, and I was like, I told them. I said, you know, this... I says, okay, whatever. I understand they're trying to get the message out, you know, and and that's why I the first thing I ask is, is there is there is this like a zero tolerance thing? Like you just show up to somebody's house on Saturday and they're Should've outside been. and there's a noise complaint and they get a ticket type thing? It's like zero tolerance. Didn't the warnings didn't seem to matter? And I told him, I said, well, the college kids don't probably they got to go China anyway. style and spray hand sanitizer on everybody's house, uh, like what they did during COVID. Remember, they used to go through the they used to go through the neighborhoods with like cannons of hand sanitizer. <laughs> Just, <laughs> if they want to stop it, they're gonna have to do something like that, man. But whatever this, and you know, I'm an old out of touch guy now, apparently, because I'm well through my 40s. And so I realized that I had no idea there was a St. Fratty's Day. And, you know, Jeff and I went to college. We went through all this. We were never a part of the Greek frat. You know, we maybe we, because we transferred in from a community college, a junior college. We didn't, we didn't get into that. We had, we had guys that were older than us go in. And it was really funny because it was really sad. It was old him, school. That's what it was. He, he was, <laughs> it, was like, it was full on old Hey, school. I'm 30. Let's get a frat. Let's, let's rush. Which was so, great. Uh, which was great for the younger I, guys, I, guess, I would imagine. So, I, okay. So, I, I don't know if it's going to sh- shut down St. Patrick's Day downtown. Because I don't think... That doesn't seem to be where any of the issues are. No, it's out all of the, the campus. All the issues are around all these houses. There are 200 kids standing on top of a roof. Luckily, it didn't no. fall in. <laughs> no, we've, these dumb kids, they weren't here. They, you know, they weren't, how old were they when the last roof fell in? They, they were probably like junior high. 12 or 13, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you were just telling me there was some guy climbing a telephone pole with a chicken. I mean, it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> That's only drunk rationale. <laughs> Like, like, you like, like you this. only, you only have that kind of rationale if you have the skill set mm. in, w- in which to climb a telephone pole. As is that guy okay? A by chicken the way, walks the one by. With the chicken? Uh, I, I think so. Yeah. I, How is the chicken? I don't know if the chicken's okay. I'm not sure if the chicken's okay. Oh, yeah. I, I worry about my my daughter's friends. They live in that area. They live over near the college. And they have chickens, so I wonder if it was one of their chickens. Because I don't think too many people have chickens in that area. And um, you know. I don't know, man. This is such a unique area where everybody wants to try to think they're, you know, they they want to be like Los Osos, but they don't want to be Los Osos. They want to be in slow because it's cool to be slow. Yes. But they want to live like they're in Los Osos. So they're like, ah, we'll get a couple of chickens for the backyard. Mm-hmm. My friend's wife, I was out hanging out in the, such a nice weekend. Uh, with some friends, and uh, his wife wanted to stay back, and she was sat there with her chickens all day. She has like twelve, and she just put pictures of her chickens on Instagram on the deck with the dog. The dog hangs out with the chickens just fine. So, drinking an Angry Orchard, reading a book. Some people just need some chickens around. Apparently, it must be soothing or but squawking. That's that's soothing. Well, you my know, next door they, neighbor has chickens. I like, is, I like when they, the way when they get going. When they go, rawr, 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 that means they've just laid an egg because oh, they get all proud okay. of themselves. It's almost like, uh, hey, look at me! You know, puff your chest out. It's good to know. I always thought it was a raccoon over there attacking them, but it's not my yard. So, <laughs> our James McKiernan poll question today: James McKiernan, attorneys at law, uh, eight hundred two hundred hurt. Yes, is this was a, this is a past tense uh, a poll question. I guess this is if you drank. Uh, yeah, yeah. Weekend. It's uh, interesting to see the numbers. Actually, I'm not too surprised. I didn't drink yesterday. I drank on Saturday, but I didn't drink yesterday. But it's five people, 
uh, I'm sorry, 50% of the uh, survey said they um, they didn't drink. They didn't drink at all. That's because it's a Sunday, just like Super Bowl. Yeah. Most people still drink at Super Bowls. But, you know, I understand St. Patrick's Day is always the 17th. But why can't we just celebrate it on a Saturday? I think, or I think I that's a what they did. Idea. I think in, in, listen in San Luis Obispo, that's one hundred percent what they did. I mean, we were coming home from my son's baseball game. Okay, it wrapped at like oh four forty or something like that. So it's right about dinner time, and we stayed away from it. We purposefully stayed away from it. We drove up Johnson down San Luis Drive so we could hit um, Monterey. Uh, you know. Just, just come around the, you know, the, the, there were people drunk walking up and down Monterey, clothes falling off. I mean, it was like, it was like five o'clock in the afternoon on you Saturday. You say to your boy, you're like, hey, come here. All right. I want you to look at this. This is what you have to look forward to. He said, look at all these people. I said, I know. It's crazy. You don't want to be that guy. Uh, yeah, but you know that what might solve this is Bernie Sanders. I saw on Friday. You know he's back at, uh, at the. You love the, Bernie. The, 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 the talking to Congress. I don't like anything about Bernie except for this one thing. He's really pushing this four day work week, three day weekends. Yeah, he made a lot of good points. Other countries have done it. They health has been better in these other countries. Terrible. People idea. are getting more rest and more sleep. It's they're, a terrible they're healthier idea. people are yep. saving on the every uh, business. You know, I'm telling you right everybody now. Everybody wants the government to pay for their health care. Well, this this would knock it down. I'm telling you right now. It goes to a four day work week. If, if, if it's a standard uh, thing in the United States, we're all being replaced on, by robots and. We will be dependent on the government. So if you're fine with being dependent on the government and not having free will, then, um, then that's, that, that's the route you can go. Oh, would you calm down? Oh, you're a business Please. owner. You're, you're going to ask for, Please. uh, uh, 20% Please. less pro- productivity down. from already your workforce that is, is, you know, close you're the struggling. Doors. They already do it in slow. They close the doors. They go surfing. There's, oh, we're not opening today. I saw the it's best the same thing. I saw the best business model the other day. It was a, like some new smoothie shop or something. I don't know. But they, they do microgreens and, and other stuff. I have no idea. And I will never know. Sounds like a pretty good uh, smoothie there with some micro I will never know because they're only open 10 to 4. <laughs> I was like, wait, you're going to miss out on the entire breakfast crew for the smoothie? <laughs> you're open 10 hey, to 4 and closed on Sundays. <laughs> it's really helped my blood pressure since we started opening at 10 o'clock. You got six-hour window, man. <laughs> Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Z.com. All right, know the showtime, 805-543-3693. You know, so, you know how the, the old saying goes, I can't be friends with somebody who fill in the blank? Yellow. Yeah. Yellow is my blank. Oh, really? Fans of I yellow. I like yellow. Well, there we go. That's where our problem is. You and I. <laughs> well, we don't have to be friends. We just have to work together. But I don't mind the yellow. <laughs> I, if it comes on, I don't change the station. Oh what is my your problem with the yellow? God, it's the most chaotic, weird. Like, what direction are they? A rock band? Are they a classical band? Are they? Are they a, a pop band? And then also, why so many different sounds? And why do you do you think the the, the, the formula of music doesn't apply to you? Hmm, okay. Terrible music. All right, so how this works is we have My. multiple phone lines. We ask a question, all the phone lines ring. I then answer the phones and put everybody in order. So today the order goes like this, all right? Nick, bad news. Then Seth, then Dave, then Claude. Those are four people ready to play. You want to try 805-543-3693. Yes, Claude. How are yeah. you doing, Claude? Good. Um, you were the first one to call in. What was Jeremy's punishment for um, throwing a bush can in his? Was it a friend of yours, or just that you were at that party that that guy's? I was a friend of mine. It was it was uh, Joby's, Nick Joby's house. We oh yeah, about Nick would have been for another reason. Nick, Nick would have been cool. <laughs> Nick was like, just throw it in the front yard. <laughs> his community service was to read for people. Uh what kind of people? What kind, what, what kind of people? <laughs> Blind. Blind people. Yes, yes. that's correct. Yes. <laughs> Right. You're a winner. Congratulations. I got hooked up. 
I was I wanna... released to a friend under my own recognizances, but I was hooked up for a minute. Didn't have to sit in the back of a car, but they had me bent over the car with cuffs. It was just like being on live PD. I wish live PD would have been there. Actually, I'm glad they weren't. I'm Could sure you I just take these cuffs representing... off? I swear, I'll have my girlfriend read, read for the blind. <laughs> did you Did you ever get hooked up in college, Jeff? What do you mean hooked up? Like you what? Know, like, okay. like, like, a, like what? Like a ride home know. or what? Yeah, no, but I mean, uh, oh, there was that one time that we were... Uh, <laughs> We got stopped by the cops, and we had to sit down on the oh on yeah the, on the yeah, sidewalk get, there. Are you? Are you is it hooked up? Mean handcuffed? No, it just means you know stopped and talked to. And yeah, there, there was, was something read my some, rights or something anything. more pressing. We were going to get charged with uh, peeing on a car. The reason why we were peeing on the car is because they had a University of Washington sticker on the back of it, and yeah. um, and so we all decided to stop and pee on it. Because we went to Washington State University, fierce. Rivals. We hated. We hated then, the Huskies. And then the Pullman. You bring that. You bring that car to our college town with your right. big W W purple sticker on right. it. You're not going to get. So peed the on? Pullman Police Department was going to charge us, and I was. I remember arguing with the guy. I'm like, you're not even. You don't even know what it's like to have local pride. And he got mad about that. But then he got a call. And he took my name down. He took Jeremy's name down. He took everybody's name down. That was uh, they were burning a couch like a couple blocks over. Yeah, there's you know, something else typical Saturday night. More pressing going on across town. <laughs> burning and, a couch in the street. Yeah, you know, no big deal. And, and so, so, so the, he's like, "I'm going to have to let you guys go, but I got your names. I got your names. I'm going to follow up with the owner of the car to see if he wants to press charges." I'm like, "Yeah, okay." On for the peeing. <laughs> what kind of what kind of damage can you do to uh, peeing on a car? On the tire, I don't think much. He he said we were going to have to wash it, and I said that's fine. I'll wash it. I'll wash it. I was like, all this so, over a sticker. Yeah, just go take all right, care, Claude. Of real. All right. Ho- hopefully, hopefully you've behaved yourself better than we did in our tour. Claude, did you go to college? Yeah, I got away with more than you, I think. Um, <laughs> okay, you don't have to indict yourself. Yeah, but uh, what, what did you get caught doing while you were in college? Nothing. Claudie? <laughs> Where'd you go, Claude? <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> All right. Probably had bad cell reception there just at the right time. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't like answer that fun. question either. Uh, All right. Well, Cal Poly students, uh, have fun cleaning up today. Boy, I was reading some of... Uh, Jeffrey Armstrong's comments about the students. He's pissed. <laughs> you guys made me look bad. Dean Warmer is on a rampage. Oh, yeah. You know what? The dean of students will come after those kids that were arrested. They'll threaten them with being kicked out of school because that's what happened to me. That was a different incident. That was just public urination, but there's a story behind that. Maybe I'll share tomorrow. Who'd you have to Anyways, read for enjoy for that? the rest of your Monday. <laughs> you were there. You know. Bunch of BS. Wrong place, wrong time. 9.57. Kurt Olson's coming up next. Enjoy your uh, Monday. Hopefully your head's not hurting too bad. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Don't miss a moment. Subscribe to the podcast on Google, Apple, YouTube by clicking on Jeff and Jeremy at KZOC.com.